Great leaf spot and northern corn leaf blight were major yield robbers in Ohio cornfields in 2014. Conditions so far this year causing both of those diseases to show up once again. Bill Mullen with Seed Consultants says a check of fields will indicate what, if any, actions need to be taken. I'm looking here at the bottom of the plant for leaf deteriorated, but coming down here and, and we're seeing there's some northern, a little bit of nitrogen deficiency here. Bottom leaf, okay, it's all a little bit of gray. I come up to my third leaf here, still below the ear leaf. We can see the northern, a uh, little bit of nitrogen deficiency, a little bit of gray. Uh, the gray is going to be more of a rectangular lesion on the leaf, whereas the northern corn leaf blight is going to be more of a cigar shaped lesion. So, you know, um, here is still the second leaf below the ear. Now here's where northern is. We could see the northern cigar shaped here. Um, we're looking at the gray leaf spot, rectangular lesions here, and this leaf here is pretty well, uh, have it shown both diseases on it. All right, now, now we get to where we're talking right here at the ear leaf, okay? And as we could see here on the ear leaf, our disease pressure really has dropped down, okay? We're still seeing some of them for the gray leaf spot, uh, at the time, and I did see this leaf show, but I did see one for northern in that. All right, now, get up here, starting to get above the ear leaf. Here's one, northern corn leaf blight. We're seeing here at the tip, a little bit of gray, but not much, all right? As we go farther up the plant, I guess we find one more northern corn leaf blight, a little bit of gray. Farther up again, all I see is a one couple here of the gray leaf spot. Uh, the other leaf showing a little bit of northern. And finally, when I get up here right to the tip, top ear leaf in that, pretty well healthy. Don't see any in that. And, and I know we're past the point because this pretty much is, for this plant, we're right here in the middle of silk and hasn't brown silk yet, so pollination's still going on. But one thing we gotta make sure everybody's aware of is the fact that just because what's down below, we shouldn't base it on having fungicides apply. You gotta look at the tolerance level of the genetics of these hybrids and that. Because with our prices today, and it's costing anywhere between $29 an acre to $40 an acre. You know, at $350, $4 corn, it takes a lot of bushes to go ahead and pay for that. And with Mother Nature's, the growing condition we've had this year with Mother Nature and all this rain, you know, there'll be a lot of places where we can't depend upon a fungicide to help us out because it's going to cost us. We won't get a return on our investment in that. You know, some disease pressure out there, something there that a fungicide really is not needed, providing, you know, we've got good disease tolerance from the hybrid. And the other thing is, is that we want to make sure the plants are standing, roots are healthy, they make it all the way to harvest. We don't have any lodging issues.